What's up everybody, it's Rich So Fit and this is Get Fit and the Trade for Kids. Today we're gonna to be going over some speed and agility exercises that are gonna help you run faster and move quicker. So let's go. Okay, so the first exercise that we're gonna start off with is high knees. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Make sure that your core is tight, arms stay moving, and drive those knees up. Okay, great job. Next coming up, we have toe touches. I want you to keep a slight bend through your knee. Then I want you to reach over with your hands and touch your toes. Take your time, don't be in a rush. Ooh, that felt good. Next, let's move to the front of the leg and stretch out our quads. What you wanna do is go left to right, pulling up on your foot. Make sure that you don't lose too much balance and just take your time going left to right. So next, we're gonna isolate each leg by doing a hamstring stretch. Stretch it over to the left side, coming up slowly, and then stretching over to the right side, coming up slowly. We'll go back and forth for 30 seconds. Okay, so now let's get that body moving. We're gonna do jumping jacks for one minute. Okay, so we have 15 seconds left. Let's keep going strong. Okay, so next we're gonna do an isometric squat hole. It looks very easy, but trust me on this. This is very intense. You're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Make sure you keep your core tight, hips low. Good job. Now, we're gonna jog in place for one minute. So it's very important that we do warm ups like this to keep our body moving, get it very warm, because we're gonna do a lot of moving today. We're gonna to have a great time. So I hope you're ready. Yep, that's right. The warm up is complete. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0.
Okay, so I have cones about 10 feet apart. If you do not have cones, you can use anything to pinpoint. So let's start off with lateral slides for 30 seconds. This exercise is very important because we want to make sure that we move as fast side to side as we do going front to back. I know you're feeling that burn, but keep it up. You're doing good. Whew, great job. So now we're going to take 30 seconds of rest just to relax and recover. Okay, so now I get a chance to see your acceleration. We're gonna do a front jog going forward, keep our hips low, back pulling back to that same cone. Come on, don't get caught behind. You don't wanna get left in the dust. See if you can keep up with me. Wow, you are pretty fast. Now that's amazing, I'm proud of you. Okay, so our next exercise is quick feet. What I want you to do is stay positioned on your toes. You don't wanna let your heels hit the ground because that means that you're slowing up your speed. We wanna stay quick by staying on our toes. Do you feel that burn? Because I do. We're almost there. Trust me, we can do it. Yes, we made it. I'm so glad I don't have to do this workout by myself. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so I know that you can move fast, but let's see how high you can jump. We're gonna do squat jumps for 30 seconds. You're gonna feel a good burn, but trust me, it's gonna be worth it. Just remember, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. Once you put your mind to it, you can achieve it. Great job, you made that look way too easy. Okay, so all you need now is your imagination. I want you to imagine that you're holding a jump rope and we're gonna complete the jump rope exercise. You don't need a jump rope to do this one. Squeeze tight in the core and keep those arms moving. You're making this look easy. Keep it up. And just like that, we're done with round one. It's time to take a quick little break and we're gonna come back for one more round. This is a good time to just focus in on your breathing, making sure that you take deep inhales and exhales out. 
Also, feel free to go get some water. This is a good time to pause the video for just a second, hydrate, and come back for round two. Okay, so this is round two. You already know what to do. So I expect you to move a little bit faster this time. Challenge yourself, push yourself to be even better than you were the first time. Come on now, slot those feet. Pick it up, pick it up. I want every exercise to have that same intensity for round two. Let's keep it up. Okay, so we're gonna have a jog and a back pedal coming up. Remember, this is round two. Let's move a little bit faster. Okay, let's go. There's nothing that can stop you. You're really doing this. This is how you do it. You're getting faster each time that you try this. No matter what age you are, I don't want you to ever forget these exercises. These can help you for your entire life. All right, so it's time for quick feet again. Let's do even better. I think I'm moving fast. Do you think you're moving fast? Can you keep up with me? Let's see. Great job. I think he might slightly, maybe, be a little bit faster than me. <laughs> okay, so now we're approaching the ending. This is our victory lap. We're gonna finish strong and give it all that we have. Okay, so this is a secret. You don't have to tell anybody, but if you want to jump higher, you have to practice it. And doing squat jumps are going to help you jump very, very high. Great job. You jump pretty high. Okay, so we're about to do our last exercise for the day. I am so glad that you joined me to do this workout. I know that you're gonna move a lot faster and you're gonna jump higher. Just 30 seconds to the finish line. Guess what? You did it. You're a winner. That's the end of Get Fit and the Train for Kids, round two. 
Thank you guys for joining me. Continue to do these workouts because I know they're going to help you towards your future. Have a good day and see you later.